Hi there, and welcome to DevOps with Azure. In this course, we're going to explore modern DevOps fundamentals and how to harness this transformational technology for your engineering organization. My name is Alan O'Neill, and I'll be your tutor for this course. I'm a cloud engineer and architect dealing with complex systems involving microservices, machine learning, and big data. I write regularly for a number of online communities, including C Sharp Corner, Code Project, and DZone, and I also speak regularly at technical conferences and meetups internationally. I'm a current Microsoft MVP in Azure Technologies, and I believe that if you want to become an expert at something, you need to share your knowledge and teach others what you know. Before we get started, let's take a look at what we're going to cover in the course itself and what you can expect to learn. Starting in section one, we will be looking at the building blocks of DevOps, what the different parts of DevOps pipeline are for, and its general aims and objectives. In section two, we will look at the container technology and Docker as arguably the most popular mechanism for containerization. When we have everything in containers and working well, that's only part of the story. We then need to be able to orchestrate our containers. So in section three, we look at why we need to do this and of course, how we're going to do it using Kubernetes. Section four starts a deep dive into end-to-end -to -end tool chain for DevOps in Azure. And the final sections will cover Kubernetes in Azure, infrastructure as code using Terraform, and the automation of deployment and monitoring. The main prerequisites for this course will be access to an Azure account, Windows, Mac, or Linux installed. Most of the work that we'll be doing can be done remotely on Azure itself, but for some demonstrations, I will use a local code editor plus installations of Docker, Terraform, and Kubernetes. When we get to these sections, I'll provide full links. And of course, there will also be full links for everything and for downloading all requirements in the resources section of the course.